Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I want to contrast how the same type of program, same kind of logic uh, that would uh, behave on the actual robot at runtime. So this one here is a Scratch 2 program. All it does is uh, turn the motor on 1 and 2 such a way that it goes forward for about half a second and the speed setting at about 5 to 12. Okay? And then this is also a task program. You can see it does the same thing. Speed of 5 to 12, delay for half a second, and then up it goes, and that's it. So, so first, right now is the way it is now. Is uh, I'm using R plus Scratch, and it's connected to the CN150 bot. So therefore, the Scratch 2 program is active. So I'm setting it up. So I'm going to click on this, go to the green flag, Leviticus Go. Okay, so you see how it goes. I'm going to try it again so you can see second time. So there's a little jerk. And maybe you can see it from here. Let me try here. Here we go. So remember this one here. Port 1 is on the left here. So so port one is here. I hope you see that port one started earlier and uh, so and a little bit earlier too. So that's what I want you to see that. That's why I create a certain behavior. So let me uh, First, disconnect. After scratch, and then I bring in my passcode. Sometime here, I have to turn it off. Turn it on again. You see, you're gonna hear that music again, the previous program. But I'm going to download this new code, so I'm gonna turn it off immediately. Okay, so that's it. So we can turn it on. You, I think you, know, you notice it just goes straight and it doesn't have that uh, jerk at the beginning and the end. Let's do it again. See, when it goes straight, it's just stop. Okay. So essentially, it's because um, when you run this code task code, it runs it directly right locally on the controller. So even though there's maybe GD time in port 1 and port 2 in command, but it is uh, less than milliseconds. So it's very fast. So practically, the two motors are kind of uh, synchronized. Let me try this. You can see. Oh, I'll just turn it off. You see, both of them turn on and stop pretty much close to one another. You couldn't see the difference in timing at all. But you saw it when it was running on the Scratch 2 environment. Because every time you issue these commands to go to the robot, because it had to run from the PC through R plus Scratch and eventually to the controller and to its firmware to turn on its motor, uh, there's quite a bit of delay, almost eight, nine times more. So the delay starts showing up. So that's kind of the basic uh, kind of structural issue when you use Scratch 2 and uh, with robots made by robotics here. 